Hi guys, so for this video, it's gonna be a crochet gift ideas. And I think I have around a little more than 40 or 50, but I do know Christmas is in a week. And so I'm trying to keep these more minimal, like something that you can do within a week or like within a day or something. But I did include some clothes because I think some of these, they could be done in a week or even less than that if you just were consistent. But yeah, so I separated it into categories and I may look down at times just because I wrote it on my notes. But the first category I have are hair accessories. And this first one is a mohair bow. And these are really simple. It's really just a single chain and then you make it to the length you want, tie it in a bow. And then you can wear it like on pigtails or like if you half up half down or something like that. But mohair is also, I think made out of goat hair. And so if your friend is like vegan or something like that, it probably wouldn't be the best gift. But mohair bows are really simple and these could take probably less than five minutes. The next one is a beanie. And this is just like a classic beanie. If you live like in an area that gets cold during the winter, then this would be good. And you can like experiment with different styles, like the colors and like the different types of yarn. You can do like fuzzy yarn. So it's like a fuzzy beanie or just varying colors. You can do like, you can get a yarn that kind of has a flow of colors. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but then the beanie can be like sort of a mixture of maybe their favorite colors if you think they would like that. The next thing is definitely for a place that is extremely cold because this is a balaclava and they tie it. And these are basically like head scarves and like they're masks. So really like I think only your eyes are showing or kind of the main area of your face. But yeah, this is for if it's like really cold out or if they're going to visit somewhere that's really cold, then it would be a good gift. But I've seen these a lot and I'm pretty sure you guys have too and a lot of people have been crocheting them and I wish I could, but it just doesn't get that cold here. And the next thing I have are headbands, which this is again, really easy. You could probably do this within an hour or even less than that. And there's a lot of ways you can like vary it and kind of style it to fit the person that you're giving it to because they're like these thick headbands, which I'll include a picture. I'll include a picture for all these, but you can make a thick headband or a thin one that's like more fashion or like decorative instead of like for warmth. Yeah, there's also many designs like on YouTube if you search up and I like this one that's like, I don't know how to describe it when I'm thinking about, but there's this one where it's like kind of a head wa hair warmer or an ear warmer and it's like a little X in the front. The next thing is a hair scarf or like a bandana, which basically what I'm talking about is when people in the car sometimes they have like these bandanas that they tie around their head and it's like so their hair doesn't mess up that's what i'm talking about and this would be a pretty easy gift too i feel like all the hair accessories they can be done pretty quickly the next thing i have is a headphone cover which this is like um kind of to cover the headphones if they are like cold during the winter or like to make earmuffs which i've seen very few pictures on this but you can kind of create like a circle with the crochet and then stuff it with stuffing and then like just create the top part with wire and then like crochet it that was like my idea i don't know if that's how people do it but that would be a pretty cute idea and especially like the headphone covers just in general those would be pretty easy and so the next thing is a bucket hat which these are like very versatile too you can make these just like a plain bucket hat or you can use granny squares, which you can make a lot of designs off of granny squares. But the next thing I have is a Taylor Swift hat. And I didn't even know like, this was a thing, but I saw it on Pinterest and I don't know if it's on YouTube. I haven't even looked at it. But if you know your friend likes Taylor Swift, this would be a really good gift because I'm pretty sure this is the red hat she wears in like one of her albums or one of her songs. I'm not sure, but I just saw a picture on it. And I thought since a lot of people do like Taylor Swift, it would be a pretty good gift that a lot of people could gifts like to their friends or family and then the next are beret clips which these are really simple these are something that you can again like change a lot of you can either do like a heart switch up how to make a heart crochet and like hot glue that on a beret or a flower a star um like anything really i know there's like a lot of videos on like little trinkets that you can do and just hot glue it onto a beret and then that's the gift and i think making like multiple would also be cute kind of like a set maybe but 
yeah, those are the beret clips. And then the last thing I have in the hair accessories are scrunchies, which again, these are really simple since you really only need a hair tie and then you start like working around that. And I think it's like a magic ring. Yeah, for the scrunchie, a velvet kind of material would be really nice. I've seen those. Like regular yarn would be good, but I think velvet would kind of reference more or like look more like a scrunchie. That's everything for the head accessories. And moving on to clothing accessories, which is like scarves, gloves, and all that. The first thing I have is a regular scarf. And again, like there's a lot of variation to this since you can make like a thick scarf. So like one that's really functional for the winter and you can do like thick yarn or like really big yarn. And that would take like half the time if you use regular, regular yarn since again, it's like really thick. Or you can do fuzzy yarn, which would be cute. And then the size of the scarf can differ. So you can do like thin scarves, which are like not really functional. They're like more fashion, I think, but they're like just the really thin ones that you just wear around your neck. And then you can do like different patterns. I like the stripes mostly. You can also do individual colors, but I think this is really good since, I mean, December, this is the time where it gets cold. And so if it does get cold, you can make a thicker scarf or if it doesn't, a thinner scarf would be like an alternative. And then the next thing I have are fingerless gloves, which this is like still with the hand things here. It's just not covering your fingertips. And these are really cute because they're functional, but you can still like use your hands. And then they're like the actual fingerless gloves where it's like, I think they're hand warmers and it's just like your thumb and then it stops right here. And it's like kind of this. I think it's more decorative, honestly. I don't know if that like those really work, but I think they're cute. Like again, that you can kind of add your own twist to it with like the color or with the choice of fabric, or not the fabric, the yarn that you choose. Since you could also use like fuzzy yarn. And then like the actual functional part of this would be mittens, which you can do like the classic mittens where it's like this is covered and then your thumb. Or you can do the fingerless gloves, but with a flap, which I think would be cute. And Again, you can like add a lot of stuff to this. If you make like mini hearts, you can attach them to your gloves or like strawberries or I don't know, something that they would like, you can attach to it and like add a 3D thing to the flap. I don't know if that's making any sense, but I'll try to like find pictures that match what I'm saying. And so that's all the gloves. And then I have socks, which these are mainly, I think knit, like mostly people knit socks. But if you do use like a thinner, yarn it would be like more related to the knit kind of style and you can also search up like knit style socks but like crochet patterns and then i have earrings which these are very versatile too and i'm saying that for a lot but you can really add like your own twist to every single one of these and for the earrings you can do like what i'm wearing right now it's a regular earring and then you crochet like a little trinket or like a little the item and you attach it to the earring. And so I saw these like avocado ones, which I thought were cute. And they had a coffee one. You can do like small hearts, which I think would be cute. Stars, but that's really it for the clothing accessories. And now I'm gonna go on to like the tops and the bottoms, so, like the actual clothing. But these are a bit more time consuming. Some of them not, which I'll like explain later. But the first thing I have is just a regular crochet top. And it's like pretty broad, but kind of any top that you want. Like on Pinterest, I saw a lot of these tank tops that I thought were cute and they were like flowy kind of at the bottom. And then there are like regular jumpers that I'd saw on Pinterest and like their pullovers, which you can also make with granny squares, I think. It depends on like what pattern you're using. But with granny squares, you can just kind of search up any granny square like on YouTube and make that into a jumper or you can make it into a cardigan, which I think would be kind of easier Maybe a little more time consuming because it may be longer, but yeah, so that's like the sweater type of style. And then there's also like knit style jumpers, which I think these are really cute. And then the next thing I have are these like mohair thin long sleeves. And I've seen a lot where it's like the star pattern and it's kind of like a star in the front. And these, like the mohair is extremely thin. so. I don't know how long it would take, but then I have one last top and this is definitely gonna be the easiest and something that you can make within like a day. And it's these like long sleeve 
tops that it's like only long sleeves and it's just covers like up here so basically like you put over a t-shirt or like a tank top or something like that but you can make the sleeves that are normal or you can kind of extend them and make them like wide arm or I don't know I mean you can really do like striped patterns or just a solid color and then again like what depending on what yarn you use that can determine like how it turns out and then the next thing I have are bottoms which I only have three but there are pants and these are made out of crochet granny squares and I saw like the heart ones which I really like and with granny squares you can make any kind of design and so if you just search up on YouTube you can kind of create the pants like as you see fit and so that also applies to the shorts which is my next like idea and the shorts would take sh a shorter amount of time to make and the next thing I have are skirts which I think it really depends on how you want to make it but there's a lot of different ways because again like I've been saying you can do the granny squares or you can do like a single color and then just really any design those are all the bottoms but then the next thing I have are bags and purses which I think are definitely like more on the simpler side since clothing is kind of more difficult but the first thing I have are book sleeves which is definitely my favorite since I love to read and especially like if the person you're making the gift for likes to read, this would be a really good gift. And again, there are a lot of different ways you can make this with granny squares, like just a single color, or if you do like a double crochet, like one panel and then another panel and sew those, or like not sew, but stitch those together. And then there's that, you can like do a striped pattern, a checkered pattern, which I knew was like popular a while ago. But there are also these love letter book sleeves, which I thought were really cute and it's like, a little envelope and it's like a heart where the stamp would be or not the stamp but like the seal and so I thought those are really nice and again there's just a lot of different ways you can do this and the next thing I have are makeup bags which I think these are pretty simple too it's kind of the same idea as the book sleeve just making two panels and then stitching them but again like you can do other versions of that and then you can also add an inside like a lining if you wanted with a zipper i mean you kind of have to add a zipper for the makeup bag but with the lining that would be really cute because you can like pick the fabric that you want or that you think they would like and then the next thing is a phone purse which this is more of like the style of a grocery bag which I, i'm gonna say later but it's like bigger holes basically and you can do that or Again, just make two panels of double crochets and then stitch those together and make a strap. But these again are pretty easy and like definitely less than an hour. But I mean, it's also a pretty easy gift to give to anybody since most people do have phones and so you can apply it to really any person. And then the next thing is a tote bag, which these are a bit bigger, but they don't really take that long either. And again a lot of different ways there's like the two panel version or if you wanted like granny squares and then there's this other bag that i saw and it's like a, just a regular tote bag with the two panels and then they created like this 3d granny square with like a flower which i thought was really cute and i really want to make that one but there's also another version which i, I couldn't find on pinterest i saw it on the youtube video which i don't remember who was it but it was this tote bag which I know they make this like when you sew tote bags you can do these like tie shoulder ones but you can do that with crochet and so I thought that was cute so basically like, the straps are not connected you like make one strap that goes on the tote bag and another strap and you tie it and that creates like the shoulder but I don't know I, I I'll try to find a picture but if I can't that's like the best description that I could do but again like more versions of this would be like a chunky purse like a shoulder bag and if you do like a chunky tote bag too this would definitely take like less than a day less than like a few hours but yeah chunky purse would be really cute a grocery bag which is why i said similar to like the phone holder that i saw and it's like with bigger holes and it's like i think more sturdier depending on like what kind of crochet style they use there's also like these bags where i saw like they're kind of messenger bags and they have like a little flap that you can open and like they had a star on it which there's like a lot of things going around like with the star kind of like that style which i really like too and then i have a water bottle holder which 
these are again really creative like you can do a lot of different stuff with this because i i saw people do granny squares and also just a plain color and they add like 3d flowers or like hearts and stuff like that and then the last thing would be a wallet which is again extremely simple since wallets are really tiny but you could do a regular wallet without like any additional accessories or you can do one that has like a little flap and it clicks so it like is actually sealed and those would be really cute too especially since they're like a bit more functional but yeah a wallet would be good like a card holder basically or i saw this one that's like kind of a coin holder but the next section i have is room decor and i have a few but the first one I have is a door curtain. I know they have these with beaded, like there's beaded wall curtains and it's essentially just like kind of from the 2000s, I think. But you can do this with crochet because I'm pretty sure all you have to do is like crochet a single chain and then, or like you can do a double chain so it's a bit thicker. And then just search up online, like how to make these certain 3D trinkets or something like a heart or a flower or something that you know they would like and then you can just attach it to the single chain that you made and then make a single chain on top and then that they can hang that on their door which i feel like i don't know if i explained that really well but i think if you saw a picture you would get like the basic idea of it and so the next thing i have is a flower coaster which this is not like essentially it doesn't have to be a flower but that's just the one i saw but you can do like a flower or I saw these ones that have that had like egg coasters. I don't know if I saved it though. Or really anything it can apply to like a coaster. Depending on like what the person likes, you can fit that to like the design. And then the next thing is a pillow. You can do a regular panel or you can do like a zigzag pattern or stripes. You can do granny squares, which again you can have more variety like with the pattern. And so yeah, but that also applies to my next thing, which is a blanket, because it's the same thing. But with blanket, you can do a chunky blanket. And so this is like using chunky yarn, and it would definitely take like half the time it would if you use like the tiny, like basic standard yarn. And the next thing is a jewelry holder, which I don't know how you would make this, but it doesn't seem too difficult. It's just like a regular panel, and then you start building on top of that. But I think I saw like, a heart one or a star keeping it to like the basic shapes would be better because i think the more intricate you go the obviously the more difficult it would be but yeah if they were a lot of jewelry then this would be a really good gift and then my favorite or not my favorite but one of my favorites is a hanging house plant which i've been wanting one like a real one but i'm not good at taking care of plants but it's really cute especially since it kind of looks exactly like a real plant obviously not it doesn't look real but i think it's really cute especially since you can have it hanging up all year long or like until whenever because it's not real but i don't know i really like the crochet hanging plants and it's like the spider plant kind of style and then the last thing is kind of related to that but it's a bouquet of flowers because so you can make a bunch of different flowers and kind of put that in a bouquet and so that's really cute and you can also have if you want to make a vase not of crochet, I mean like just get a vase and like paint it. That would be more customizable. But again, you can just use a regular vase. Kind of like the brown paper that they use for bouquets would be nice. And so yeah, but that's all of the room decor stuff. And the last thing I have, which is like kind of, I only have four things, but it's just the stationary and like the trinket section. And so the first thing I have are bookmarks, which if you know they like reading books, then this would be a really nice gift too. And you can also just decide how you want to make it because you can do like a single chain and then you attach like a 3D figure at the bottom or you can do like a thicker bookmark. Not, not necessarily the granny squares because they're pretty big, but you can do like a rectangle, but kind of a design like a zigzag or changing up the colors. Like if you get a yarn that is like a rainbow or like it changes within like itself and that would be really cute but yeah the bookmarks i think those would be really good if you have a friend that likes to read but the next thing i have is an airpod case which this would be good if they have airpods but really it's kind of really i think this is really simple too i've never made it but 
it's again like a smaller item so it wouldn't take that long and then the next thing is a utility pouch which would be nice if they like draw or like on the artsier side but also not even if they aren't artsy because you can really put pencils and use it as a pencil case if they like crochet they can use it for their tools or really like anything i feel like anybody could use this and then the last thing are these like novelty creations which i really didn't know what to title it but these like small trinkets that are like 3d and there's a lot i saw on pinterest that i thought were cute and they're like these frogs coffee i saw a toaster or not a toaster what's it called um the toaster snacks which i i don't know why i forgot what they're called you'll see them when i put a picture but those are really cute and you can turn all of these trinkets like into keychains just by getting like the small like a metal i don't know what it's called like the metal circle and just threading it through the yarn and then it can turn into a keychain and so yeah but that's everything that i have i feel like i had a lot and i was still finding uh, so many on pinterest but yeah these are like basically everything that i would really like and i hope this gave you guys ideas this video is really long it's like 30 minutes but again since christmas is next week more of the smaller items would definitely take like less than a day but the clothing is not impossible because especially like since the long sleeve top with like it's just this that would take like definitely less than a day but that's really all i have and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some inspo like for your friends or family but if you did like it you can give that a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video